Hey guys, what's up? It's Olivia. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to vlog with confidence, how to be comfortable while filming your Disney college program. This is my third video in the how to vlog your DCP series. So the first one I talked all about different equipment. Um, video softwares, editing, thumbnails, etc. In the second video, I talked about what not to vlog so you don't get fired while you're on your Disney college program. And like I just mentioned, this one is gonna be all about feeling comfortable in front of the camera. The first couple tips actually take place before you go down for your DCP. So first of all, be upfront with your roommates that you plan on vlogging your program. My first time around, I did not tell my roommates, so I was like vlogging in secret because I was like embarrassed by it, I guess. But since then, vlogging has become so much more popular. Like there are entire apartments full of people who vlog. So it's very common, be upfront about it because it's so much more comfortable when everyone around you is like aware of it and then also supporting you going into it. It makes it a lot easier to feel comfortable and to actually vlog your program. Secondly, practice making videos before you go. Practice just making sit down videos. I think you should definitely make sit down videos because you, it takes time to build up the confidence to talk to a camera like this. I've been making YouTube videos for four and a half years. My first videos sounded like this. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Olivia, and today I'm gonna talk to you about why I love UC Davis. Bad cut. And so it took me a really long time to feel comfortable to talk in front of the camera. So here's some tips for that. Number one, Make sure you're by yourself. I don't know about you guys, maybe you are comfortable filming in front of other people, but I think at the start, you should film by yourself so you can experiment, so you know how big to move. If you want to move like this all over the place, which I don't recommend, or you can see if you're just sitting here, not moving, not making facial expressions, whatever, it's a good thing to practice. So yeah, I was always very self-conscious that like my roommates could hear me or my family could hear me or whatever. So if you don't live by yourself, then you can always just hop in your car for a couple minutes. But doing that helps so much, even if it's videos that you're that no one else is ever going to see and it's just you practicing not only filming but also editing, that's going to help you so much. The more you edit, the more you practice, the better you get the faster you get, etc. Also, I wanna say there's no shame in filming a video and then refilming it. I do that every month, at least. Like every so many, probably like every three or four videos, I end up refilming one of them. So sometimes I'll do a video and then literally immediately afterwards of me talking to the camera for 30 minutes, I go, wow, I could have been so much more concise. I feel like finally my thoughts are organized. I wish I would have said it that way. And so I sit down, and refilm it again. Sometimes I'm editing it and go, oh my God, I wish I had said this differently, and then I refilm it. So if you have to film the same thing multiple times because you're like, oh, I didn't like my energy in that, or I didn't like what I said, I should have said it differently, that is totally fine. Some ideas for sit down videos, there's obviously about me, there's lots of Disney tags. Um, you can talk about your Disney application process, why you wanna do the DCP, your DCP bucket list. There is, so much that you can film beforehand. So um, someone was asking me as well how to like get views on their channel and if they're planning on having a Disney vlog channel, what kind of content should they make? If you're making a vlog channel or a, a channel that you're going to devote to Disney, only make Disney stuff on that channel. So even if you're doing the cultural exchange program, you know you don't start for a whole nother year, start talking about your application process. Like, I mean, I have no idea how many people are out there that actually talk about how it is for being overseas um, or like doing the international program. So talk about that, how you're packing. If there's anything that someone else who's in your shoes needs to know, talk to them about it. So that's the kind of videos I suggest making is stick on theme with the Disney. A quick tip I have to be comfortable while filming is to make sure you have the right equipment. So make sure you don't have any selfie sticks because they'll actually take those from the parks. Make sure you have a tripod or even if you just wanna hold your phone like that, and it's totally fine. Next, once you're down there and actually vlogging, vlog with your roommates. It is so much easier, personally, for me, to vlog when I've got my friends around me. Like, I will say, yes, it's kind of awkward at first. It takes a couple videos with them to learn when everyone's like turn is when speaking like how you vibe on the camera because obviously like it's your content but at the same time you don't just want your friends like nodding along in the background so 
the first couple like videos I did with Annie were like very awkward one of them we had literally just met like I hopped in her car we drove with her mom and sister to casting that was literally the first time we had met we walked out out of casting and that's the first time that we vlogged together so obviously we didn't even have like a friendship first and then it was like oh let's be on camera together so it was a little bit weird um, and maybe no one else noticed and that's cool but like compared to how we interact with real life to then how we were on the camera sometimes it takes time so just be aware of that however I would always feel much more confident if I was in the parks or even like at Penn State if I'm with somebody for whatever reason I don't feel as I don't know I have more courage that being said don't just go oh I'm not gonna practice it all by myself I'm just gonna perform once I'm with people because I do think you need to be able to talk to the camera like this when you're by yourself um, I think it's very rare if you are unable to do this but can just vlog in front of people so I do think this is a very important skill to create especially to practice before you get down there but in terms of actually vlogging walking around the parks for me, it is much easier when I'm with my friends, with my roommates, compared to just by myself. I think those Disney guests are never going to see you again. Never. And if they're an annual pass holder or someone who's going to be there a lot, then they know that Disney vloggers and Disney vloggers are a thing. Like, the Disney company themselves holds events and invites vloggers and vloggers because they know how important they are to their business, to getting the word out on certain things. So. Don't really care what anyone else thinks because they're never going to see you again. If they even notice or if they are going to see you again, then they're in the know and not going to think anything of it. Now, when you are vlogging with your roommates, with your friends, with your coworkers, etc., make sure to ask their permission before you just start filming something. Um, at least let them know, oh, hey, I'm going to pull my vlog camera out now. Just in case, like, there's something they're talking about that they don't want on camera at all. Also, please go back and watch my video about what not to vlog because, again, this applies if, if your roommate's talking about something about work and it's something that, yeah, of course you guys talk about because you're roommates, that doesn't mean that is information that should be on the internet. So be careful about that. Make sure to warn people. It's common courtesy as well as like, you're not allowed to film people without their permission or like voice record people. Maybe that's only in California, but I think like common courtesy, <laughs> like everywhere. You should tell your friends if you're going to film them. And my last tip about vlogging confidently, fake it till you make it. I know you hear that a lot, especially with confidence, but that's literally how you do it. It's like a psychological principle. <laughs> Not principle, but there is this thing. There's this thing where you've got like your thoughts, your cognitions, and your behaviors. And if they're different, your mind kind of freaks out because it doesn't like there to be a discrepancy. So one way to kind of trick your brain into being confident is to behave confidently. And then your mind will go, oh, well, I'm acting like that. So that must be how I am. I must be confident. I know it sounds like what that works, but it, it does like, I study it so <laughs> that's a thing fake it till you make it your mindset will eventually catch up with your actions so those are my tips if you have any other questions about being confident make sure to comment down below and I will answer you also good luck on your Disney college program I know there are a lot of you starting in January so it's really really exciting I hope you have a wonderful magical time it's a lot of hard work but you will make friends for life have an experience that you know, memories, magical memories to last a lifetime, and it's a good time. So, if this video helped you, if it did, please give me, please give me, please give the video a big thumbs up. Comment below, comment below your favorite Disney show. I've probably asked that before, but are you a fireworks person? Are you a parade person? Are you an indoor show kind of person? Subscribe to my channel, have a magical day, keep dreaming out loud, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.